Shad Gregory Moss, born March 9, 1987, better known by his stage name Bow Wow, formerly Lil Bow Wow, is an American rapper and actor. His career began upon being discovered by rapper Snoop Dogg in 1993 at the age of six. Five years later, he signed with record producer Jermaine Dupree's So So Deaf Recordings, an imprint of Columbia Records. As Lil Bow Wow, he released his debut studio album, Beware of Dog, 2000, at age 13, and his second album, Doggy Bag, 2001, the following year. Both met with critical and commercial success, the albums peaked at numbers 10 and 11 on the Billboard 200, respectively. Moss parted ways with So So Deaf to release his third album, Unleashed, 2003, which peaked at number three on the chart and was his first release after dropping Lil from his stage name. His fourth album, Wanted, 2005, spawned the singles Let Me Hold You, featuring Amarian, and Like You, featuring Sierra, which peaked at numbers four and three on the Billboard Hot 100, respectively, becoming his highest charting songs. His 2006 single, Shorty Like Mine, featuring Chris Brown and John to Austin, peaked within the top 10 of the chart and preceded the release of his fifth album, The Price of Fame, 2006. His sixth album, New Jack City 2, 2009, was met with trailing critical and commercial response, serving as his final album on a major label. He briefly signed with Birdman's Cash Money Records in 2009 to release a series of promotional singles including Ain't Thinkin' Bout You, featuring Chris Brown, and Sweat, featuring Lil Wayne, leading up to his seventh album Underrated, which remains unreleased. He then signed with Puff Daddy's Bad Boy Records in 2015, and likewise released no albums with the label. Moss first appeared in the 2002 film All About the Benjamins as a cameo. That same year, Moss was cast in the lead role for the sports comedy film, Like Mike. He later starred in the film's Johnson Family Vacation in 2004 and Roll Bounce in 2005. He played a supporting role in the film The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift in 2006, a character he reprised in F9, 2021. Moss appeared in five episodes of the television series Entourage, and starred as Brody Nelson in CSI, Cyber until the show's 2016 cancellation. Life and Career 1987-2001 Early Life and Beware of Dog Bow Wow was born Shad Gregory Moss in Columbus, Ohio, the son of Teresa Rena Caldwell, Nay Jones, and Alfonso Preston Moss. At age three, he became interested in rap. Under the moniker Kid Gangsta, he began rapping recreationally at age six. He was also a fan of NWA at that age. In 1993, he performed at a concert in Los Angeles and was noticed by rapper Snoop Doggy Dog who subsequently gave him a stage name, Lil Bow Wow. He then appeared on the Doggy Style album on the track, GZ and Hustless, comma, and on the Arsenio Hall show in late 1993. He also appeared in the Gin and Juice music video. Furthermore, he was supposed to appear on the Murder Was the Case soundtrack with the song After Three, featuring Corrupt, Jewel, and CPO Boss Hogg, but it remained in the vault until the early 2010s. In 1998, at the age of 11, Bow Wow met record producer Jermaine Dupri, who helped shape his career. In 1999, the soundtrack to the movie Wild Wild West featured his song Stick Up with Dupri. At the age of 13, in 2000, he debuted with the album Beware of Dog under the stage name Lil Bow Wow. Its debut single was Bounce With Me, which featured R&B girl group Xscape. The album also included Bow Wow, That's My Name, featuring Snoop Dogg which topped the rap chart, Puppy Love, and Ghetto Girls. The Recording Industry Association of America certified Beware of Dog Double Platinum on March 5, 2001, signifying sales of 2 million copies. In a 2009 interview, the rapper claimed that the album had sold over 3 million copies since its release. 2002, Doggy Bag, Like Mike and Name Change Bow Wow in 2002 and 2002. His second album Doggy Bag was released with singles Take Ya Home which peaked at number 72 on the Hot 100 and number 21 on the Hot R&B slash Hip Hop Songs chart, and Thank You with Jagged Edge, number 1 on the R&B chart. Doggy Bag peaked at number 11 on the Billboard 200 and number 2 on the Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart, and was certified platinum. Lil Bow Wow performed the track Basketball for the soundtrack of his film Like Mike, that song peaked.
At number 1 on the R&B and number 25 on the rap chart. Bow Wow dropped the Lil from his stage name in April 2002, he told MTV News, I changed my name because I'm getting older now and it's too many Lils. All these Lil rappers, I'm just kind of getting real irritated by it. I said, you know what? Drop the Lil. Forget it. I'm Bow Wow. Besides, I'm growing up, I'm not little anymore. I just decided that, two weeks ago. I really got irritable. It's all these little cats, forget it. I'm Bow Wow now. Everything is just Bow Wow, no Lil Bow Wow. 2003-2006, Unleashed, Wanted and The Price of Fame The first album released under his new name was Unleashed in 2003. Its first single was Let's Get Down featuring Birdman, the founder of Cash Money Records, which reached number 14 on the Hot 100 and number 6 on the Hot Rap Tracks charts. The second single was then released, My Baby, featuring Jagged Edge. Unlike his previous albums, this one was not produced under the mentorship of Jermaine Dupri. Guest appearances include Jagged Edge, Birdman, Mario, and Amory. Unleashed was certified gold on September 25, 2003. Bow Wow appeared on the remix of JoJo's single Baby It's You in 2004. Wanted was released in 2005. Its first single was Let Me Hold You, featuring Amarian, and peaked at number 1 on the rap chart and number 4 on the Hot 100. The next single, Like You, featuring Sierra, coincided with the beginning of Bow Wow's relationship with the singer, Fresh as Emis, featured Jaquan and Jermaine Dupri, followed and peaked at number 23 on the Hot 100 and number 6 on the Hot Rap Tracks chart. The album was certified platinum. At the time of the album's release, Bow Wow was managed by Positive Management. He also appeared on the remix of Dem franchise Boys' I Think They Like Me, which peaked at number 15 on the Hot 100 and number 1 on the Hot Rap Tracks. Bow Wow ended his relationship with Sierra in 2006. In 2006, the Price of Fame was released with the lead single, Short You Like Mine, featuring Chris Brown, peaking at number 9 on the Hot 100 and number 1 on the Hot Rap Tracks. Out of My System, which featured T-Pain, reflected on Bow Wow's breakup with Sierra. It peaked at number 22 on the Hot 100 and number 2 on the Rap. Chart, The Price of Fame was certified gold, 2007 to 2009. Face Off and New Jack City 2 Bow Wow and Amarian released a collaborative album on December 11. 2007, Face Off. The first single was Girlfriend, which peaked at number 33 on the Hot 100. The second single was Hey Baby, Jump Off, Duh. He released a mixtape title, Half Man, Half Dog, Volume 1 that year. Half Man, Half Dog Volume 2 was released as a sequel to the mixtape in February 2009, New Jack City 2, his sixth album, was released in March 2009 was his first album to include a parental advisory, Stephen Roberts of MTV News observed that this album explored the influence of crack cocaine in inner-city communities, and featured such guests as T.I. Three promo singles were released in late 2008, Marco Polo, featuring Soulja Boy, Big Girls, and Rock the Mic. The first official single, you Can Get It All featuring John to Austin, samples TLC's Baby 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 and peaked at number 55 on the Hot 100 and number 9 on the Hot Rap Tracks on July 4, 2009. His new song, I Know I'm the Shit off his DJ drama-hosted mixtape, makes a reference as working on his new album Underrated and that it is already in production. On August 16, Bow Wow announced his signing to Cash Money Records, joining an all-star roster that already includes Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lil Wayne, and Birdman, among others. 2010, present Bow Wow planned to release his new then-titled album Underrated on Cash Money Records, but the record underwent a number of delays and, in mid-November 2011, Bow Wow announced on his blog that the record wouldn't be out before 2012. The album was intended to feature Birdman, Boys Two Men, Chris Brown, DJ. Khaled, Fabulous, Game, Lil Wayne, Lloyd Banks, Meek Mill, Nas, Nelly, Sean Kingston, Snoop Dogg, DMX, Styles P, and Talib Kweli. The first promo single being For My Hood, featuring DJ Khaled and Sean Kingston. On November 1, 2010, Bow Wow released his first promotional single from the album entitled Ain't Thinkin' Bout You featuring Chris Brown. The music video was a success on 106 and Park and made the countdown in just one day.
Two weeks later, it peaked at number one on the show's charts and remained number one for three days. On June 2, 2011, a song from his album called I'm Demand, which features Chris Brown, was leaked and wasn't the first official single from the album. On October 24, 2011, Bow Wow released the single entitled Sweat featuring Lil Wayne, and though it was thought to be the first official single from the album, it was also dubbed by Bow Wow as a promotional single. On May 18, 2012, after several delays, Bow Wow released the first single from the album, titled, Better, featuring T-Pain. The music video for the song was directed by Bow Wow's personal cameraman Rico de Crook and was a success on 106 and Park and made it to the top of the countdown. On June 26, 2012, Bow Wow released the second single from the album titled, We in a Club and was produced by DJ Mustard. The song went nowhere on any Billboard charts. But the video was also another success on 106 and Park making it to the top of the countdown. The third single scheduled from the album was intended to feature Miguel that was titled Right Now. Later, there was an announcement that Universal Republic Records was going defunct. All of the artists on the roster that were moved from the label, including Bow Wow, were moved to Republic Records, making the label itself revived. On August 10, 2013, via his official YouTube page, Bow Wow stated the reason that Underrated had been delayed was the result of raising his daughter and waiting until he was more mature. He also stated he planned on working on and releasing the album after he turned 28. On June 24, 2014, Bow Wow announced via Instagram that after the 2014 BET Awards, he was going by his real name Shad Moss, claiming that he made a lot of history as Bow Wow and that it was now time for the next chapter and challenge. He stated that Bow Wow no longer fit with his new personality as he was now a father, host, and actor, and he had matured from what he had been early on in his life. In May 2015, with his long-delayed album with Cash Money still without a release date, Bow Wow announced that he had amicably parted ways with Cash Money Records so he could move on with his music career. He said, I want to dictate when my music come out. I'm tired of going to the studio to make records, and then I listen to them cause then they get old. Then when y'all ask for new music, I don't want to hear it, cause I've been listening to it for two or three months. I just can't be held up up by nobody. It's as simple as that. I got a daughter. I got a family I gotta provide for. On September 27, 2015, Bow Wow signed to Puff Daddy's record label, Bad Boy Records. He then named the members of his new management team and finished the post by writing, making money won't be the issue. Figuring out where to keep it all is another story. On August 7, 2016, Bow Wow officially announced that he was retiring from rapping and would release one more album, titled NYLTH, which was initially tentatively scheduled for release in 2017. In 2021, he announced that his final album would be titled Before 30, and would be released by Death Row Records. He teased the album again in March 2024. Prior to his final album release, Bow Wow and Soulja Boy released a joint retail mixtape titled Ignorant Shit on October 25, 2016. In 2020, Bow Wow competed in the third season of The Masked Singer as Frog and finished in third place. He agreed to appear on the show because he felt it would be a good rehearsal before headlining the Millennium Tour. He headlined the tour in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Other ventures acting career Bow Wow has made guest appearances on Brandy's TV sitcom, Moesha, as well as the Steve Harvey Show and Brothers Garcia. He made his acting debut in the film Like Mike, which was released on July 3, 2002, in which he starred as a young orphan who gets a shot at playing in the NBA. Before Like Mike, he made cameos in All About the Benjamins and Carmen, a hip-hop era. Bow Wow also co-starred with Cedric the Entertainer, Vanessa L. Williams, and Solange Knowles in Johnson Family Vacation. Since the success of Like Mike, Bow Wow has starred in several Hollywood films, including Roll Bounce, The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift and Hurricane Season. He has also made guest appearances on Smallville and Ugly Betty. He was part of the cast of the fifth season of HBO's Entourage, playing Charlie an up-and-coming comedian and Eric Murphy's newest client. He starred in a 2010 comedy film, Lottery Ticket, with Ice Cube, a documentary about his life, titled, Who is Shad Moss? 
was released in 2011, Bow Wow stated that the documentary goes all the way back to when he was on Death Row Records. Bow Wow starred in the film version of Medea's Big Happy Family, released in April 2011. In August 2014, Bow Wow announced that he would star in a CSI spin-off titled CSI, Cyber. In 2021, he reprised his role as Twinkie in F9, BET's 106 and Park on October 1, 2013, it was confirmed that Bow Wow was chosen to host for BET's 106 and Park after former hosts Terence J and Roxy retired from the show. It was seen in over 85 million homes in the US, Canada, Japan, United Kingdom, Africa, the Caribbean, and Germany until its cancellation in 2014, R&B Friday Nights in 2016, Bow Wow began hosting a nighttime edition of the Australian hit network's radio show R&B Fridays, titled R&B Friday Nights, Business in 2018, Bow Wow partnered with hair grooming company Red by Kiss and launched a new line of luxury do In 2024, Bow Wow opened up a new restaurant in Atlanta called Prime on Peachtree. Legal Issues On March 28, 2012, it was announced that Bow Wow was ordered by a court to pay $3,000 a month in child support. On October 2, 2012, Bow Wow claimed he was broke and only making $4,000 a month and only had $1,500 in his checking account. However, the next day he signed on to be one of the four new co-hosts of BET's 106 and Park. Later on he would address this by saying, One thing about me, I'm a smart guy. Very smart. Things that I do, are for reasons. Things that I don't do are for reasons. So for myself, I'm comfortable, very comfortable. For me, it's all about the work. But as far as rumors, those are people's opinions until you see me on a corner with a cardboard box saying I'll tap dance for food or canned goods, then you can say that, I'm broke. On February 2, 2019, Bow Wow was arrested in Atlanta, Georgia, for battery after a fight with a woman. At the time of arrest, both suffered minor injuries and it was unclear who the aggressor was, so both parties were charged. They were both taken to the Fulton County Jail, but Moss was released from jail Saturday afternoon after being held on $8,000 signature bond, personal life his family supported him through his choice of music as a career, Bow Wow lives in Atlanta, Georgia, along with his mother, Bow Wow has a daughter Shy Moss, B. April 27, 2011, with Schwa Chavis. Bow Wow was formerly engaged to Erica Mina. In September 2020, Bow Wow had his second child while in another relationship. Politics In October 2008, for the U.S. presidential election, Bow Wow led a 15-city Walk Across America event to register new voters. In 2014, during a charity flag football game organized by Chris Brown, Bow Wow participated in a celebrity tribute to Ferguson, Missouri, police shooting victim Michael Brown. In 2016, Bow Wow was involved in a controversy on Twitter when he told his followers that he had decided not to vote in the presidential election that year, in response to a suggestion that refusing to vote dishonors the struggle for civil rights in the United States, Moss said that he did not identify with the fight for civil rights because his heritage was mixed and not exclusively black. On March 15, 2017, Bow Wow responding to President Donald Trump's criticism of Snoop Dogg's music video for Lavender, Nightfall Remix, sent a tweet to Trump in which he threatened to pimp your wife and make her work for us. In less than 24 hours, Bow Wow deleted the offending tweet. Bow Wow Challenge in 2017, a new photo challenge went viral over social media, called Bow Wow Challenge. It all started from the Bow Wow post supposedly portraying his private jet travel lifestyle, only to turn out as fake, since the photo used was actually taken from the MIA VIP transportation website and was a stock photograph. The challenge gained major popularity from people sharing their misleading photos tagged as Bow Wow Challenge. Controversy Bow Wow received criticism for performing maskless at CLE Houston Nightclub in Houston, Texas, on January 15, 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic, in front of an apparently maskless crowd. Bow Wow responded to the criticism by stating that he appeared for his friend's birthday and only performed one song, Like You, and that he was not paid for his performance. He also stated that he put on his mask after his performance. Discography Studio Albums Beware of Dog, 2000, Doggy Bag, 
2001, Unleashed, 2003, Wanted, 2005, The Price of Fame, 2006, New Jack City 2, 2009, Collaboration Albums Face Off with Amarian, 2007.